You know, just when you thought we were deep in the rabbit hole when it came to the corruption investigations that are going on here in New York City, uh, we've had multiple videos talking about the uh, Eric Adams administration, kickbacks, influence from other countries, Turkey, China. Uh, we're seeing all the way up in Albany. We have spies in Albany. We have spies in Queens on there. We have another story on that coming very soon. Uh, due to a voter irregularity that was going on. In, yes, that's right. The CCP wanted to get, get someone in one of the districts here in New York City. But also, but getting back to this, I mean, we have situations, the NYPD is being investigated by the feds uh, due to possibly a, um, not really a pay-to-play as a situation, you could call it that way, but sort of a racketeering organization and i'll tell you this no offense i'm not here to slam the rank and file because there are some great people in the nypd out there that are doing their job but they have their hands tied when it comes to the situation it is the upper echelon of that including the the commissioner himself i mean this this harks back a lot of this that's coming in new york harks back to the serpico days but now we're seeing a little bit more open on this particular uh, situation, especially by two of the allies uh, from Eric Adams. Uh, we're talking about the deputy mayor of public safety, Philip Banks, and his brother, Terrence Banks, which was already being investigated with in the NYPD probe. Um, seems that, you know, because uh, the one brother has some sort of consulting organization uh, from what we understand, and we just thought it was the nightclub business, but it seems in a larger perspective to corporate companies, uh, which create apps uh, for the for for New York City and for you know like grocery delivery apps, store apps, and stuff like that. And we're going to read into this and. This is part of a um, article written by the New York Post. It's two Adams allies be being eyed by feds for potential influence city contracts and taking kickbacks. And this is what it is. It's kickbacks from this, you know, this whole situation in New York. And it's just getting deeper and deeper every day. The feds are eyeing a pair of Merrick Eric Adams allies for potential influencing city contracts and taking kickbacks, the Post has learned. Yet another damaging thread in their sweeping corruption and influencing peddling probe, according to law enforcement sources. Federal authorities are looking into whether Deputy Mayor of Public Safety Philip Banks, a top Adams aide, had a hand in steering contracts to companies purportedly represented by his consultant brother, sources say. Taken together, the firms are said to be working with Terrence Banks secured millions of dollars worth of contracts with the Big Apple online record show. They include app makers, safe watch IT companies such as Derived Technologies and SVAM International and Mercado, a grocery store delivery app. Investigators are also looking into Tim Pearson, Pearson excuse me, a retired NYPD inspector and fellow top uh, Adams aid regarding city contracts he may have handed in whether any kickbacks were involved are according to the sources. Both men appear to be caught up in the federal dragnet which targeted a litany of high ranking city officials close to Adams allies including Pol police commissioner Edward Caban deputy mayor for public safety Philip Banks, school chancellor David Banks, first deputy mayor uh, Sheena Wright Agents showed up at their doors with warrants, law enforcement sources said, seized electronic devices. Federal authorities also subpoenaed Pearson's and Banks' phones, among several others, law enforcement sources said. Just a few months ago, Chief Business Diversity Officer Michael Garner boasted during an internal meeting that Pearson, who was in charge of doling out the lucrative city contracts for migrant security, gave out 20 such deals in one week alone. The mayor wants to make sure the money isn't going to the same old contractors, so they put Tim Pearson in charge of making sure of that for giving out security contracts of security guards, Garner recalled, according to a source 
with knowledge of the situation. The comments came in just days after Pearson was named in an April lawsuit that accused them of always searching for his piece of migrant of the migrant contracts and announced it by allegedly saying, where are my crumbs? Pearson, who was involved in three other lawsuits, including a sexual harassment case, allegedly tried to wield his influence in an obscure, newly created office that oversees city agencies to make a buck according to the lawsuit. Yeah, that's what, see, this is why we don't big a big government size. When you start to add these offices, offices of this, offices of that, it's trouble. That's right. It's just total trouble for government uh, overall, say, in the United States, or basically each individual county, city, state, uh, depending on, you know, what is being put out there. Do you know how these contracts work? The Allen's out. Adams ally alleged as some union employees in October 2022. People are doing very well on these contracts. I have to get mine. Where are my crumbs? Pearson, Philip Banks, and Tara Banks did not respond to requests for comments. Their attorneys either declined to comment or did not return the post calls. Now, before we go on, and there is a podcast out there. It's on YouTube. It's called New York's Finest. Uh, I would check it out. I'll leave the link below there. These guys are on every, they're on about eight, like between 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. They're a great uh, podcast. Uh, these these two gentlemen are ex-NYPD cops that were pretty much pushed out. They were forced retired. And they explain, you know, they have the ins and outs of what is going on here. And it is correct. You You have a situation here where you have politicians trying to make money hand over fist. And not helping. And this, and listen, look at the crisis we're going through. We have too many migrants in this city right now, causing a lot of trouble. We've already had the report out: seventy-four to seventy-five percent of the crimes that are going on in just Manhattan alone are caused by illegal immigrants. Yeah, that is correct. Those numbers are correct. Nicole Maliotakis tried to get the the proper numbers on there uh, from the Adams administration, and they keep putting up stone walls, but luckily there are others who have found this information and putting it out there so you'll be able to see what is actually going on. Then you got the crime, you got the the crime rates that have been going up besides the migrant situation on there, the shoplifting. Uh, You have the prostitution that's going on throughout the city, especially in Queens on Roosevelt Avenue. You got the migrant setting up shop, whether it's uh, illegal food vending, Ill, uh, stolen goods that they're selling on the street to people on, you know, to people around. People saying, "Well, you know, they're just trying to make some money, you know, to keep their family." No, they're working for someone directly. Understand that this is not something that's going. The money, all that money is going into their pockets. No, it's not. There are some out there that it is, but on the good, good uh, motion that most of this, and you could tell. Uh, by their setups and stuff like that that basically they are you know someone's getting paid and it ain't it ain't someone from another country we're we're talking about maybe a china connection ccp or basically a cartel connection or trende agua or ms-13 as well we already know that the venezuelan gangs have been a big issue here the U.S. military had even warned, the Army had already warned of this situation in a high top level meeting. But meanwhile, you got the NYPD, they're supposed to be one of the best police forces around, tarnished again. And this is not the first time this has happened. This has happened several times. The NYPD needs to be cleaned up. So does City Hall as well. You know, they, you know, people like saying, well, it's, you know, you're saying it's because of his color of the skin. Say, no, excuse me. This is on liberal politics. These are liberal cities that are happening. That This is happening. Go to Baltimore. That's been happening for quite some time. Go to California. Look at, look at the shit that's going on in California right now and the massive exodus of people. Even liberals are starting to pick up and leave as well. Seattle. Look at what's going on there. Chicago, look what's going on there. We've had this numerous occasions. It's time the voters step up and start voting these people out. And I'm saying this straight out. Eric Adams needs to step down. 
He says, well, you know, innocent until proven guilty. I've always said that. But with this much that's happening, understand nobody's been arrested yet. Yet. But when it comes down to this, and this is massive, people understand this. And I expect this is going to end up at the, at even Letitia James is probably going to be investigated and several court judge. And we know uh, district attorney uh, Bragg <laughs> probably is next on the list because what is going on in New York City? <laughs> I'm going to say it straight out. It's a crime shame. It is. It is a total what's going on there. I would say innocent until proven guilty. We do, you know, we haven't gotten any arrest yet, but the way people are talking now, the way those who are inside on this situation, there's going to be a lot of people going under. They basically, and the thing about it is, the ones that are highest up, they're going to try to throw some people underneath them, under the truck, like what happened in the previous two administrations. Understand that, and this has happened before. You know, this heart, like I said, this heart harks back for me uh, the Serpico days. I grew up during that period, and I, all the issues that were happening in New York City at the time, and the high crime rates that were going on while this corrupt that corruption was going on. Understand that. Cops need to do their job. They need to be unhandcuffed from the position to allow them to do the job they are in the city. And the thing about the first thing they have to do is a lot of these liberal regulations and laws need to be erased starting with the right to shelter and the um, sanctuary law both need to go they, they've twisted the right to right to shelter laws so bad because that law was made only for for homeless people in new york that's what it was made for people have twisted and turned like they're trying to twist and turn the 14th amendment you know this is what they do they they interpret it w- one way but it's not what it's meant for. And who is it hurting the most? The homeless people that are on the street right now. You get, you got situations where people are making money by, you know, <laughs> listen, they, you know, they're going to nightclubs. And, you know, and I'm familiar with some of these nightclubs in situation. You know, uh, uh, Con Sofrito which happened to be a really good place. It was a good place to eat and drink. And to hear this, to hear that this has happened. It, it tarnishes that restaurant, even though that restaurant is now closed. You think it would be re- reopened? But the thing about it is they have other properties on there, and they're also sh- shooting up on uh, those that, you know, hey, listen, if you don't do something on there, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna send cops to your door. And that's what the situation And this is the same thing that's happening with Operation Padlock. This, we're hearing sources on that saying that this is what Operation Padlock is doing as well. And, I, and I've said this, Operation Padlock is unconstitutional we still haven't heard yet we still haven't heard yet from the judges that are uh, that are looking into this case we we still haven't heard a decision as of yet so let me know in the comments below be sure to check out all of our other videos like i said check out new york's finest podcast uh they're here right here on youtube on there and they probably you could probably find them find them on anywhere where you can find a podcast uh, they're up on early in the morning. Do check them out. Don't forget to like, share this video. Be sure to get it out, especially if you're a New Yorker. And even if you're not in New York, be sure to get this out. Pe- more and more people should be hearing about this. And hopefully, hey, listen, there's that little button down there that says subscribe. I, I need you to hit that no matter where you're seeing this on whatever social media platform that you're on right now it, where you're watching it whether you're on the green machine whether you're on the odyssey whether you're on youtube uh we are working on bit shoot we ha- we do have some technical issues on bit shoot and we'll get that resolved hopefully within the next couple of weeks so do stay tuned if you're if you're a bit uh bit shoot watcher and you switched over here to youtube we'll be back on on there very soon so until next time thank you for sh- thank you for sharing this thank you for the support And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.